Hey everyone, it's Thomas Bates again with Rock the Vote, here with the latest installment of, uh, well, we don't really have a name for this. It's basically where I put on a tie and then tell you what's going on in the healthcare debate. Uh, and this week I'm wearing a jacket because all of the action is in the Senate and the Senate's a bit more formal. So uh, you probably saw on Saturday night that the Senate voted 60 to 39 on a motion to proceed to the debate of the health care bill. I know it got a lot of attention and it might have seemed like that was the vote on the health care bill itself, but actually it was just a vote to see if the Senate can start debating the bill itself. And so starting next week after Thanksgiving, there'll be a bunch of different amendments. This will go on for a few weeks. And then, awesome enough, there'll be another vote to stop the debate. And if they're able to stop the debate with 60 votes, then there'll be a vote on the bill itself. So we got a few weeks to go. Things are just getting started. It was a big milestone. And uh, why don't we just take a quick look at what's actually in the bill for young people. They're pretty good affordability measures to help make insurance affordable for young people who are gonna have to carry insurance under this bill. And if you don't, you would have to pay a penalty. Uh, so we want to make sure that it doesn't bust the bust your wallet, break the bank, either of those things, if, uh, if you actually have to carry insurance, which you know you need to. Uh, there's also measures in there to uh, prevent insurance companies from discriminating against you if you have a pre-existing condition or if you're a woman. Uh, there are also measures in there to help ease the cost on people by putting caps on the amount of money you got to pay out of pocket for things like co-pays and deductibles. So uh, those, are, those are good measures. There's also something just like in the House bill that would allow young adults to stay on their parents' health insurance plans until the age of 26. In the House bill, it's to the age of 27, uh, which will be really helpful for a lot of people who uh, can uh, stay on their parents' plan couple of bad things in the bill. There are these things called catastrophic uh, insurance plans. They're really high deductible plans that basically don't cover anything uh, until you've paid a lot of money. And uh, these bills are called catastrophic plans because they're supposed to be there if something super catastrophic happens to you, but you still have to pay five or $6,000 uh, before the insurance company starts paying for the treatments that you would get. And uh, in the meantime, they don't really cover all like the preventative care and uh, other kind of maintenance things that will help you avoid having really bad things happen to you. These are really insurance in name only. They're cheap, but they don't really cover anything. That's why they're cheap. We're trying to get them fixed. We're actually just take them out of the bill and make comprehensive coverage more affordable for young people. Uh, there's also money in the bill for abstinence-only sex education, which I think we all know doesn't really work. So there are a couple of things that we're taking a look at uh, for young people and working with our friends and allies to fix in this bill as it's moving forward. So uh, Saturday was a big milestone, but it's really just the start of the Senate debate. Go to rockthevote.com, check out our blog. Uh, we'll be constantly updating what's going on. I might even do more of these videos because I know there's a huge demand for it. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.